Hi everyone, this is Cece once again for another Donna Dani Studios Artist Gang video. Today I'm making a set of four cards and I'll be using Donna's uh, stamps for that. So I'll be working on watercolor paper because I'll be using uh, Twinkling H2O's and this is the hot pressed which is a nice smooth surface and you want that because uh, if you're going to do anything that involves stamping, more importantly heat embossing, you need a nice smooth surface. Right now I'm creating a mask out of a post-it note just to uh, hide on the stamp the area where I want to stamp the quote. Because I'm going to be embossing this, it'll be difficult for me to add it afterwards. Uh, the little pouch that you're seeing me use is a pouch that has fine uh, a fine powder and that prevents the powder uh, to stick everywhere on the paper. I'm using a Versamark ink to stamp the image. This image is tangled leaf background stamp. And now I can add that quote. And again, um, I'm adding the black powder over that. Uh, of course, I managed to get some ink around the quote stamp, but that's okay. I fixed that with my brush. So now I'm going to heat set that. And the re the um, the way you know when your heat embossing has been successful is if it goes like that or if it gets glossy, then you know that your embossing is ready. So I'm going to be doing four images, four cards. And I noticed that I've left the paper on the block or the paper pad. That's um, because it's going to make my life a lot easier when I add the water and the paper starts warping. So I'll detach that paper once I'm done everything. And the reason why I chose embossing as opposed to just stamping uh, is because the embossing will act as a resist to the twinkling H2O's. The twinkling H2O's need to be watered a little bit. You let them sit for about 10 minutes and then you're good to go. So I'm adding the color and spritzing it with water, making it move on the images. And I'm, I kind of want like a patchy look. I don't want something too blended. Uh, that's what I prefer. And I'm not also covering the whole paper. I like to show some white areas if possible. Sometimes it doesn't always end up that way, but, um, I try. So I'm just mixing my colors. I chose, of course, a set of cool colors for two images and a set of warmer colors for, uh, the other two. Now, the stamp sets that I have used as well as the colors of Twinkling H2Os will be listed in Donna's post on her blog as well as mine. And everything will be linked in the description below. So here are my images. You can see the nice shimmer that I got from the Twinkling H2O's. I love that. It adds a bit of bling without being too much. And now I'm going to take my paper trimmer and cut these images down to four by five and a quarter. And this will be perfect to add to a four and a quarter by five and a half standard card size. So you can see the nice shimmer that I got here up close and personal. That last one, I made a boo-boo in the quote and I didn't feel like starting all over again. I'm gonna use the flowers eventually on something else, but um, it happens. This is a white jelly roll pen to add touches of white within the designs of the stamps. Thank you. 
And I'm now tracing around the quote because that mark that I had uh, previously made did not uh, go away totally. So I decided to just sketch around it. And I'm still adding some elements inside. I love that flower, by the way. This is the, um, the stamp is the Loop Bloom Flowers. Really nice. I'm adding touches of white with India ink uh, with a bit of water. I'm just flicking my brush. And it just adds that little something something. It's never done until there's either drippage or flicking. That's my opinion. <laughs> And there I tried to hide the mistake with <laughs> some white. That did not work. All right, so as you can see, I just uh, showed you the card base, which is a piece of four and a quarter by 11 that I scored down the middle to five inches. I'm adding foam adhesive uh, to the back of each images and then just sticking them down on the card base. And that's pretty much it. So there you have it, my four cards, very quick project, but it's nice to have a stash of cards at the ready when you need them. I love how they shimmer. This one is probably my favorite. I love the background of that. I love how it turned out. So I hope that you've enjoyed this process video. It's a project that's very quick with gorgeous images. It's, you don't need to do a lot of work, obviously. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye.